Welcome to this section 2 of the course on configuring high charts, features and layouts. In our previous section, we had a brief introduction to high charts and we learned how to create our first chart. In this section, we will start by having a brief overview of the key components that go into making up a standard chart. Then, we'll look at the high charts code implementation of these key components. Specifically, we will be looking at implementing and configuring the title and subtitle axes, data series and the legend. We then move on to examining how HighCharts lays out and positions its chart in your web applications by default and how we can configure those settings. Next, we'll cover plot options, briefly do an overview of different colour settings for a chart. Now, let's get started. In this video, we'll cover the basic chart structure so that you're familiar with the components that constitute a chart. Let's briefly look at the key components of a standard chart. In this image from the High Charts site, we can see the main features of any standard chart. At the top, we have the title. It usually appears above the main graphic and also provides a succinct description of what the data in the graph refers to. The dimensions in the data are often displayed on the axes. If a horizontal and vertical axis are used, they are usually referred to as the x-axis and y-axis respectively. Each axis will have a scale, denoted by regular graduations, and usually accompanied by numerical or categorical indications. Each axis will typically have a label displayed outside or beside it, describing the dimension represented. If the scale is numerical, the label will often be suffixed with the unit of that scale in parenthesis. In this image of a sample temperature chart, that unit would be the degrees centigrade unit. Within the graph, a grid of lines may appear to aid the visual alignment of data. The grid can be enhanced by visually emphasizing the lines at regular points. The lines are then called major grid lines and the remainder are minor grid lines. The data of a chart can appear in a variety of formats, such as textual labels, dots, shapes, etc. When the data appearing in the chart contains multiple variables, the chart may include a legend, also known as a key. A legend contains a list of variables appearing in the chart and an example of their appearance. This information allows the data from each variable to be identified in the chart. So, we've come to the end of this video. We've briefly reviewed how a generic chart is constructed. In the next video, we'll look at how HighCharts implements those features by looking at its code implementation.